My name is Kevin Sutton and this is my integrative STEM strategy project. The purpose of this video is to present my integrative STEM strategy that expands upon the current course blueprint of Scientific and Technical Visualization 2 which is commonly referred to as SciViz 2. This expansion is focused on using integrative STEM efforts to expand objectives 205.07 and 205.08 of the course blueprint through design-based learning to encompass technology, mathematics, and science through a Rube Goldberg design project. Before I explain this strategy, I would first like to expand on the driving force behind this whole concept. Dr. Wells and Dr. Ernst of Virginia Tech University have defined integrative STEM education as the application of technological or engineering design based pedagogical approaches to intentionally teach content and practices of science and mathematics education concurrently with content and practices of technolo technology or engineering education. Integrative STEM education is equally applicable at the natural intersections of learning within the continuum of content areas, educational environments, and academic levels. This project is geared towards Scientific and Technical Visualization 2, which is a high school course offered in North Carolina. The North Carolina Department of Public Instruction states the purpose of this course is to provide students with advanced skills in the use of complex visualization tools for the study of science, technology, or mathematical concepts. Currently, objectives 205.07 and 205.08 require students to be able to explain different simple machines and create a visualization of these simple machines. The blueprint lists math, science, and art as the integrative skill areas noted in this far right column. Science is required in understanding the forces required to make the simple machines operate and math for calculating the ideal mechanical advantage. This objective completely leaves out half the course, which is technology. In designing integrative lessons, Drake and Burns state that design-based learning provides student with, students with real-world challenges that engage students in combining knowledge from multiple disciplines to solve real issues. They support that this method allows students to make connections across disciplines and be able to better retain knowledge. So rather than just conceptualize these concepts on paper and computer, I propose using a Rube Goldberg design challenge to teach these objectives in SciViz 2. Using the design process incorporates ITEA's, now ITEEA's, standards for technological literacy, standards 3 and 11, for teaching these objectives. Standard 3 states that students will develop an understanding of the relationships among technologies and connections between technology and other fields of study. This will come from solving this challenge where they need to incorporate all of the disciplines together. Standard 11 states that students will develop the ability to apply the design process which will come through trying to, trying to create this Rube Goldberg project. Webster defines Rube Goldberg as accomplishing by complex means what seemingly could be done simply. So they're going to meet a challenge or a goal where they need to use all the different simple machines and their science and mathematical concepts. The process of implementing this project involves several phases. First, teaching the students about each type of simple machine, the forces that they require, and how to calculate the mechanical advantage of each. Next, the students would be assigned the challenge and be required to present a complete plan including design sketches, the forces required for each simple machine, and the calculated ideal mechanical advantage before construction. These two phases being integrative remove the discipline barriers and allow students to work on the challenge using content specific knowledge rather than discipline specific knowledge. After the planning process, the students would construct their Rube Goldberg machine and have the opportunity to view their scientific, technological, and mathematical princi principles together in this SciViz 2 class. 
in assessing this project, mixing all disciplines and giving them all value rather than focusing on one is critical for the purpose, purposeful integration of these disciplines. An example of an constructed project to be evaluated would be like the one found here on YouTube of a Rube Goldberg machine built by high schoolers in North Carolina. However, the difference would be the focus on teaching the scientific and mathematical principles in the planning process, which would change the focus from tinkering to intentional design. The Rube Goldberg project provides the opportunity for students to learn skills to visualize scientific and technical technical concepts that fit perfectly into the purpose of the course. The buy-in is logical of how well this project fits into the purpose of the course and would begin at the local level by sharing this video with instructors that currently teach the course. After field testing this project, the results could be shared with the course trainers in the North Carolina Department of Public Instruction to add this to the summer training of IVIS teachers that would spread this project to the state level. Success of this course in North Carolina may be seen by other states in which this could spread to other parts of the nation, but it will definitely begin at the local level where the idea, idea will spread through conferences, internet, and potentially the longer possibility of curriculum change. Thank you for listening to my integrative STEM strategy of using Rube Goldberg project to intentionally teach technology, mathematics, and science in an integrative fashion in the Scientific and Technical Visualization 2 course in North Carolina.